3D text in After Effects. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Make your videos great again. Number 3 Extrusion Style Text Effect. Extrusion Style Text Effect. So first thing first, we would need a text. Now center that in your composition and place the anchor point at the middle. Now what we are going to do is create a bunch of copies of this layer. Now for that, what we will do is we will control D for duplicate and nudge them a bit. So control D, down arrow and left arrow. After doing that, now let's arrange them in numeric order for the effect to work so after rearranging the text we should have something like this now this still doesn't look 3d to make it 3d or to make it look good what we are going to do is change the colors now the top layer would be red and the bottom layer would be red and in middle we will have a gradient from red to white or how would you create a gradient now to create the gradient what we need to do is we are going to select all the layers one by one and progressively reduce the saturation of the red now it is tedious but it's not tough anybody can do it and if you practice you would be an expert so after we have done this we would have something like so now the top layer red doesn't look right so what we are going to do is delete the layer and we would have something like this now coming to the animation part how would you make it come up and go down or how would you make it animate like as if it's getting extruded now for this we need to create something called the cascading effect for this what we need to do is arrange the layer so after we have made the text what we are going to do is create the animation just cut the layer so that it follows the pattern the last layer would be first to appear so last layer then the second last then so on and so forth so after you've done this it should look like it's a staircase going up now we would create the same pattern but in inverse on the other side so we would have this effect extrusion style text effect number two pop and roll 3d text now for the second animation that is the pop and roll 3d text what we are going to do is we are going to just change the layer style to make it appear like 3d the secret is not 3d it just looks 3d so for that we need a text so after creating the text and centering it what we are going to do is we are going to the layers tab and from the drop down menu select drop shadow and bevel so after you have added shadow and the bevel what we are going to do is set it so that it looks right now i'm going to increase the drop shadow and i'm going to increase the distance of it so it's a blurry shadow now for the bevel I'm going to make it slight bevel, not too much. Now for both of this, I'm going to set the lighting to be a global lighting so that we can set the lighting for both the effects at once. After we have done this, now let's come to the animation part, the pop and roll. So for this, we need two things. From the text menu, we are going to add the opacity and rotation. Now give it some rotation and set the opacity to zero and now from the range sector you can animate the pop and roll effect
swap and roll three text. Number one. Okay, then. so for the final text, we are going to make it a 3D animation, the real kind, you know. So after you've created your text, what we're going to do is turn on the 3D. So where is the 3D button? 3D button is this third button from the left. It says small cube. It's pretty evident. Now, after you have turned the layer into 3D, okay, after you have, after you have, <coughs> So after you have turned the layer into 3D, you don't see any changes. To see the changes, what we are going to do is change the renderer to Cinema 4D. Now it's 3D, but Cinema is 4D, you know. Okay. After so after that, what we are going to do is create some extrusion. Now I'm setting my text to about this thick. You can opt for a thicker text or a thinner text depending on your style okay now let's come to the animation part we are going to give it some simple rotation animation now for that what we are going to do is come to the animation tab and enable per channel 3d so that individual letters of the text rotate freely now after you have done that you can see there is nothing because we need to still animate it remember so after we have added the rotation let's add another field that is position you would see y in a minute now after you have rotated it in y axis you can see it shifts to the right and aligning won't help because in 3d you cannot align your scene by the align tab so you use your best you know judgment and bring it back to the center now from the range sector we are going to animate the start point of this okay then our animation looks quite good now so let's come to the fun part that is the lighting part now what we are going to do is create a classic three-point lighting in this scene so what's a three-point lighting basically you have your subject on the text here the text is our subject but it says 3d text there after the confusion is over what we are going to do is we have our text at the center one light to the left one light to the right and that's what we are going to do now for some color variation what we are going to do is change the color of lights to something complementary like red and blue and let red and cyan maybe so after we have done that it looks like this now let's spice it up for spices i'm going to use some camera movement so set your camera when it's starting set your camera to about this thing don't forget to add a keyframe at point of interest and camera actions now to move the camera you just need to press c c for cat after you have pressed c you can see there is this camera you can just toggle between different camera operation tools by pressing c now see i'll move the text a bit and i'll animate it like this you can animate this in any way you would like but i'm going to do it my style okay then that's your final animation now after you've done all this we are going to play with the keyframes we're going to make them easy okay then this is your final result wow it looks quite good now don't forget to like comment and go watch other videos so that you can learn more don't forget to make your videos great again bye bye tada